Hey everyone, I'm Sophie. And I'm Deborah. And we are the authors of Overcoming Overthinking, 36 Ways to Tame Anxiety for Work, School, and Life. <laughs> and uh, we are back today answering a viewer question or, or a viewer challenge. So the challenge that was posed to us is what do you do if you are living with somebody or working with somebody who doesn't take your anxiety seriously? So um, first of all, the first question that I would ask is what do you mean by taking it seriously? So some ways that people uh, demonstrate behaviors that we interpret as not taking it seriously would be what? What would be one? Making fun of it. Making fun of it. Uh, another would be minimizing it. Right. What would be another? I don't want to talk about it right now. Yeah. Get over it. Right, everyone deals with this. Right, you have nothing to worry about. So a lot of the a lot of the language that Sophie and I talk about that feels really uh, minimizing and not taking it seriously is an interpretation. Uh, it's how you're feeling about some of the behaviors. So let's talk a little bit about what you would do if you were living or working with somebody who did not take your anxiety seriously. What would be the first thing that you would do? I would probably approach them and say it seems to me or feels to me that I'm not being taken seriously. Tell me what that's, what your opinion of that is. Yeah, and what I might add to that is to identify the specific behavior you're noticing, the specific thing that they're doing or saying that you interpret as not taking seriously. So for example, if I say to Sophie, I don't think you're taking me seriously, she may have no idea what I'm talking about or say that's not true. But if I say, you know, Sophie, when you say to me, it's not a big deal when I share something that's concerning to me, um, I feel minimized right. or I feel not heard or listened to. Mm -hmm. And if, if that conversation doesn't go as expected, there are also lots of resources to show that anxiety and depression and mental health is a is a serious challenge. Um, just like talking about statistics, mm -hmm. you know, one in five people have a mental illness and 50% of people will have a mental illness at some point in their lifetime. Yep, and I'm in that 50%. So um, one of the things to do if you are living or working with somebody who doesn't take it seriously or demonstrates a series of behaviors that you interpret as not taking it seriously is to get really clear about the behavior that you are hearing or seeing rather than just sharing an interpretation where the other person may not see it. And um, as Sophie would say, if you have a conversation early, it doesn't become a confrontation, right? So have Stole it early. My line. Yes, um, and all, and assume positive or at least innocent intent on the other person. Assume that they are not trying to minimize you. Assume that they might not recognize the impact that they're having. Absolutely. Any final words on this tip? I totally understand how serious mental illness can be. Um, so if the conversation doesn't go well, have them email me. All right. Ooh. You don't want them to email Sophie. Oof. All right, everyone. Keep your questions coming. We'll be back again soon. Take care. Bye.